In this video, I will give you a quick walkthrough of the brushes within the gouache brush set on Procreate. If you're interested in picking up the same set, you can find out the link below. So the first couple brushes are like old brushes. They are great for texture. So if you just draw across, you can see um, it's very pressure sensitive. So if you use a harder grip, you will have a fuller line. If you want to just um, draw very lightly, you have a richer texture. And the second one is a variation of the first one, except it feels more like a flat brush rather than um, a round brush. And the next option is soft filbert. If you're familiar with a filbert brush, it kind of shaped, shaped like half moon. So that's how it feels like when you draw. So this one probably mimics the gouache um, look and feel the most. And also there's, if you notice, there's a bit of a slight color variation that happens when you draw on paper, just depending on the timing of your strokes and Sometimes you dip into a different color to introduce a second color. So this is um, very texture rich as well, even though the line itself is very full. The next option is also filbert, but this one feels more snappy on your hand. And also depending on your angle, sometimes you can have this like little gap in between just like brushes in real life, they have their own personalities. So this one feels more snappier. The next option is called Filbert with stray hair. So this one is very interesting on the side. Depending on the angle, um, feel free to rotate your canvas to bring out the angles if you want. So this one feels like the hair is kind of bunched up. Um, it's also very great for texture building. And the next option is called quickly fading. It's very descriptive because it fades quickly, just like um, a real brush. Imagine if you only dip it very sh um, on a very shallow way and it quickly fades. So depending on your creative intention, this can make some really cool effect. There's that. And the next option is called underpainting dual tone. This one is probably most confusing and, um, and also a brush that has most potential. So I'm actually going to go to a white canvas to show how this one works. This is our neutral color, light gray. I'm going to choose a um, bright color, say this um, bright red. So if you tap on the color and then tap on value, you can see there are two colors um, on the upper right hand corner. So these two colors will decide what is the color of your stroke. Um, let me choose something very drastic. So right now we have red and blue, but the blue is showing up on this color dot right here. So when I use this underpainting dual tone, this will give me some colors between the blue and the red. So you can see some strokes are purple, some strokes are, it's primarily blue and cold, but also occasionally it warms up a little bit. So this is great for laying down a background for your gouache painting. So it's not like all flat, it looks super plastic and digital. And you can choose different colors, of course. Um, the first one, uh, whatever that shows up on the circle is going to be the primary color. And if you want the variation to be very subtle, you want to choose a color that is pretty close. So in this case, we have dark blue and we have um, light blue. So instead of showing up in purple, we have this variation of blue. So this is great um, if you want 
to introduce some colors into color variations into your painting. All right, let's go back to our carp. The next brush is called angled. So it feels like it has this almost chiseled tip. And you can rotate your canvas until you find an angle that you like. Um, so that's the flexibility of drawing on Procreate. That you can build this beautiful streaky texture by just rotating your canvas. Sometimes it's hard to do with a real paper because it's all like taped up and you have to move your wrist around at a weird angle. Um, the next one is tired and angled. So this one is still feels angled, but also more streaky. Things um, looks very well defined, but also not boring depending on the color, um, depending on the pressure variation, you get very different strokes. And the next one is called a spotty wild card. So it's spotty within the stroke, but each stroke is different. So that's where the wild card part comes in. So this is also great for building texture. Next option is called a dry dual tone. So whenever you see dual tone, that means that you can bring in the second color. In this case, um, I'm gonna choose between yellow, primarily um, orange, and then second color would be this like, almost like a rosy, dark rosy color. So let's see what we get from this dry dual tone brush. You can see the variation is very light. That's because the two colors are very close. If you choose a color that is distinctively different from one another, and let's see, with this, um, blue color, you see more color variation. So it really depends on your choice of the two colors. You can get um, very contrasty color um, strokes or you get subtle variation. So that's how that one works. And the next one is called wet edges. Let's go back to the white color. And if I just draw one stroke, let's increase the size. One stroke and another. The edges seems to be kind of has a bleeding effect. Like what you would see on the real paper with gouache. But also it's not out of control like watercolor. So this is really nice. I'm not saying watercolor is out of control. I'm just saying watercolor can have stronger bleeding effect. Just to be clear. All right. And we have, actually, let me redo. We have a re-wetting brush. So this one is almost like a brush that is soaked in water. And when you go over the edges, it's going to re-wet, reactivate some of the areas. So if you want to bring more watercolor effect onto paper, this is the brush that you want to have. And for the next option, we have glaze. So this one, let me just increase the size. This will give you a very light, streaky, dreamy glaze. And it's also very pressure sensitive. So you can create stronger glaze or lighter glaze, depending on how you use your pencil. The next one is called Tilty Magic. Let me go back to this canvas and choose a different color. Oh, let's go with this. So this is my normal stroke. If I tilt my pen, like almost make it... Um, parallel with the screen, 
it's gonna give me a very different color. You might be wondering where does this shade come from? Still, it comes from the second tone that we choose. If our second tone, second color, is um, let's see, yellow. When I tilt with this pen, it's gonna be very different. Even the primary color is blue. If the second color is yellow, when I tilt, it's gonna give us ta da this color. All right, so that is our lineup. Oh, actually, we missed one. We have another one that is called Light Rake. So this one um, is designed for texture. So this one will just like like a hatching and rake brush it is designed to give you some light streaks for decoration. As if you're using a very dry, stiff, flat brush with gouache. All right, here's our lineup of this gouache brush set for Procreate. I hope you enjoy what you have seen and I will see you in the next video.